Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. In this video, we are going to explore the powerful sound match and sound lock features within Omnisphere. These features help you find the sound you want quickly. So let's face it, how many times have you chosen a patch within Omnisphere and thought, this is almost perfect, but it's just lacking that little something? Well, you can lock the features of the sound that you like and apply them to a different patch. So. It's a great way of exploring Omnisphere, creating new sounds, getting a bit closer to the sound that's actually going in your head. So grab a drink of your choice and get ready, this is going to be a fun one. Before we start the video, I have a little small favour to ask of you all. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and tutorials and music production. I'd also love to hear your thoughts on Omnisphere and what challenges you've faced, if any. So leave a comment below and let me know what you think. You never know, one of your issues or requests may actually appear in a future video. So what is Soundlock? Well, Soundlock lets you lock certain aspects of a patch so that you can use them on another patch within Omnisphere. For example, you can use the arpeggiator pattern from one patch and apply it to another one. You can lock more than one aspect. And to use this feature, you need to make sure in the full patch browser view and click on this little padlock at the top. And what you get there is a whole list of features that you can actually lock from the selected patch. So the best way to show this is if we take a sound, uh, let's say, let's go for a vox pad, um, mellow. So if I say vox pad mellow O's, just clear that now so because I want to apply it to a different one so what we've got here is this pad and I want to apply it to uh, this one so they're very similar in characteristics but they have the differences in the sense that this misty mountain pad has got a very long attack, uh, long decay, sorry, on it. And I don't really want that. So I find just go back to Vox Mellow, uh, Vox Mellow, that'll do. It should come up. It's because I put an extra space in, that's why. Because I missed the word pad, that's why. Let's get that right. Vox pad mellow O's. Now, what I want to do is I want to lock. Um, let's have a look. We'll lock the modulation matrix and we'll lock the filters. Now, I'm going to go into Misty Mountain again. And now we get this sound. completely different to what we actually had originally for Misty Mountain. Just to remind you what it was, if I just clear all this, i just click on Misty Mountain again. So I've gone from a comp well, a, a, a sound that has lots of reverb and a lot of uh, release on it to something that's a lot mellower. Um, so that is sound lock it's a great tool for sort of triggering some creative juices sometimes or uh, taking elements of one patch that you quite like and applying it to another you can do this with the arpeggiator so if i just stop that and go arp and bpm and i'll just take any one circus nightmare what's this one <laughs> No, that's not. Let's try science class. That's better. We'll go with science class and I'll lock the arpeggiator. And to make sure, I'll, I'll lock the mod matrix as well. Now, what I want to do is I'll apply it to flying wings of love. Let's go for divide and conquer. 
Uh, let's try it on accidental magic. So if I just took sound lock off now and clear all and just go accidental magic, you'll have something completely different to what you just heard. That was not what we had a minute ago. So remember that in Omnisphere, a lot of the movement comes from other modulation sources, not just the arpeggiator sequencer section. So if you like something in a certain patch that has lots of movement, etc., check the mod matrix as what you hear may be linked to some of the other parameters in there, not actually part of the arpeggiator. You can then lock the mod matrix and use it on a different sound to keep the rhythm and the movement within the sound. So that is sound lock. So now we're going to have a look at sound match. This lets you browse the patches in Omnisphere by similarity. So let's take this sound, which is what we had before. Um, this time it uses the wheel. So if I take the mod wheel, so the mod wheel sort of opens the filters and open, increases the volume slightly there. So what I want to do here is I click on the sound match button. Now if I press sound match, it's going to think a bit. And now all these patches you see here are related to the Voxpad Dark Wheel O's. This little line next to each of the sound shows how similar it is to the original patch. The longer the blue line, the sort of more similar, similar the sound actually is to the original. So we've got all these. So further down, you see the line shrinking. So that's further removed from the original sound. So let's go for something that's actually close to it. Forget, forget the rocks pads because we know they're going to be roughly the same. So let's go for euphoric strings. So this is the original sound. So euphoric strings. So it has similar qualities. Now, if I wanted to sort of keep this, say, uh, some of the qualities of this sound. I can use my sound lock now and say, right, okay. Well, I want to keep the filter section. I want to keep the effects and I'm going to apply that to the euphorica strings. Now, if I remove that of that, it removes some of the harshness from that sound. So this is a great way. Another little tip for you here is if you've got a lot, we've got a long list here and it's, you could miss things. So if I press sound match again, what it will do, it will shuffle this list for me. You see there's some that actually moved up uh, that weren't there before. So if I just press it again, it's, see journeys just disappeared off the, off the list further, further down somewhere. So it's a great way of shuffling the pack, so to speak, like a deck of cards. And then between sound match and sound lock, you can create all sorts of wonderful sounds. Um, it's a great little tool to sort of get the creative juices flowing. So this short video should have given you an idea of what you can do with both the sound match and the sound lock features within Omnisphere. It's a very fast way of creating variations on existing sounds and even finding new ones. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and all that's left to say is, stay creative, stay sonic, and I'll see you in the next one.